Today I'm going to show you how to engrave on acrylic using the Cricut Maker. For this you will need the strong grip mat if possible or you could also use the standard grip mat, some painter's tape, an acrylic blank, I'm using a bauble today to make a Christmas ornament. The Maker can cut up to 2.4 millimeters. A lint roller to remove any dust the engraver makes. This is optional, you could also use the painter's tape. And lastly, the engraving tip. So let's go ahead and design the file. In Design Space, make a shape the same size as your acrylic. Mine is 2.75 by 2.75 round. Today I am making a Christmas bauble and I am going to use an image of a cute puppy around presents. Make sure you choose draw only as this will give you designs with single lines. Next add the name. You could use any font, Cricut have a lot of writing fonts you could choose from, but I'm going to use a single line font that I purchased called SLF RSVP. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Make sure everything is centered nicely in your circle. I then remove the circle as I don't need it any longer. Select all the layers and go to line type. Here you will choose Engrave. Attach all the layers before clicking on Make It. Now in this screen I like to place my design as centre as possible, lining it up with the 6 by 6 inch markers. You will also need to make sure that your acrylic blank is centred correctly on your mat too. Next select acrylic as your material and choose your thickness and then go ahead and make it. Acrylic blanks usually have a plastic coating on both sides to protect them, so remove the side you will need to engrave on. Place your acrylic down, making sure it is centered. Add your painter's tape and make sure that you are not covering the area you will be engraving. Move the star wheels over so they don't get in the way and pop your engraving tool in. Start the machine and depending on how detailed your design is, this may take a little while with engraving. Sometimes the tool will start spinning, don't be alarmed, that is what it's made to do. Once your design is engraved, remove all the acrylic dust with the lint roller. You could also just use the painter's tape. I like to spritz the top with alcohol and clean it up a little bit and then remove the backing plastic. And here is my super cute engraved Christmas ball ball. From here you can embellish it if you like and then add a hanger. So that's how you can use the engraving tool with your maker. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Give this video some love by leaving a like and I'll see you in the next tutorial.